Welcome to Electro Online. Now this concept is so important, it warrants its own video. And I called it the distance triad. What are we saying here? Well, there's three things. Distance, absolute magnitude, and apparent magnitude. In order to know the third, you must need, you must know the other two. So what we're saying here is that if you know the distance and the absolute magnitude of an object, then you can calculate the apparent magnitude. If you know the distance and the apparent magnitude, you can calculate the absolute magnitude. And if you know the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude, you can calculate the distance. There's no way you can get the third item unless you know the other two. Now, most of the time, we want to try to figure out the apparent magnitude, which can be found by simply measuring the magnitude as measured from the Earth. Then we need to somehow determine the absolute magnitude, and remember, with Cepheid variables, we found a way to do that. And then finally, from that, we can calculate the distance. But notice sometimes we know the distance, we know the apparent magnitude, we then can calculate the absolute magnitude. Or sometimes we know the distance and the absolute magnitude, which allows us to calculate the apparent magnitude. Again, the idea is to figure out the third, you must know at least the other two. And that's the challenge in astronomy, and most of the time, the challenge, of course, is in determining the absolute magnitude, like in this case, or the absolute magnitude here, to calculate the other. Now, the apparent magnitude, of course, we can usually measure, so then it comes down to just this one right here in order to find the distance. And remember, finding the distance is the most challenging aspect of astronomy, and that is how it's done. Try it. <laughs> All right, ready to move on to the next one. <clears throat> so that's